All right, a little mini video on how to build an arch. Noah built an arc, but we're gonna build an arch. So we're not gonna go all the way to the bottom of this cap raise, and we're not gonna go all the way to the top. We're staying in between, we're keeping. Posterior tibialis engaged the whole time. All right, so we're cross patterning. We're doing a stability move. We're kind of short footing on this. If you don't know what short foot is, look up. You find he's maintaining his arch the entire time. We're placing lateral load on him. So you're seeing his foot try to pull up to the outside. This is definitely for somebody who's got an arch that is collapsing or falling. And this is a pretty advanced move. Now watch that upper body. Lock that in. Nice, good positioning. There you go. Nice. Work that structure the whole time. Yep. The reason we're using a crossover load is because it's forcing him to push across his foot, lift his arch up. All right, in a completely calf dominant society, we don't have strong enough anterior tibialises. This is a main reason for plantar, fasci uh, plantar fasciitis, shin splints, a whole bunch of other stuff shows up. When this guy, anterior tibialis, isn't strong enough can't build a good arch without an anterior tip. 